There is no one way to solve your problems. You can use a variety of strategies to tackle them. One strategy is to be the solution to your own problem. This means that you need to take ownership of the problem and do something about it. In order for this strategy to work, you need to have a certain level of self-awareness so that you know what your problems are and what solutions will work best for them. You also need a certain level of motivation so that you will be able to do something about it instead of just sitting there and feeling sorry for yourself. Let's start by defining what a problem is and then we'll talk about you know, how to solve them. A problem is any situation or circumstance that can be improved upon. This means that a problem needs to have both an issue and a solution. The issues can be anything from a physical ailment such as pain to an emotional one like stress. The solution may also come in many forms including medical treatment, therapy, or simply changing one's perspective on the situation at hand. The first step in solving any problem is recognizing it. Recognizing it for what it is and accepting that there are things you can do about it. Next, you need to find out where the root of the issue lies and determine whether or not you have control over it. If you don't, then you won't be able to fix the problem. The root of the issue is that people aren't afraid to talk about their feelings. Many people in my life have said that they were afraid of what others would think or say and don't want to rock the boat. They felt as though they couldn't say anything because they can't think of anything to say when they are not sure what will happen. If you felt like you had a lot of what if questions that you wanted to ask but did not feel comfortable asking because you didn't know how much someone was going to say or do in response. So ask if you can make the situation better, but they said that you can't, right? Eight out of 10 times the person felt emotional because of whatever the situation is. The person wanted to fix the situation, but it was beyond their control. There are no examples of positive emotion that can come out of this example I just said. There's nothing you really can do. You have to be proactive when solving your problems. Always think ahead and try to anticipate any potential obstacles. If you don't do this, then your problems will continue to affect you until you get proactive. Negative moves can also have a significant impact on your health. If, for example, you are feeling angry all the time, it can really take a toll on your physical health if it is not properly managed and controlled. See, your problem is a challenge. Your problem is always a challenge. See your problem as a challenge. I'm going to say it again. See your problem as a challenge rather than an annoyance or a difficulty. This helps put you in the driver's seat. The ancient Greek philosophy of Stoicism tells us to focus on what we can control and to turn every obstacle into an opportunity for growth. Unless you are focused on your problem, it will take over your life. Think about a time when you were doing something that was easy for you and just doing what you feel like. But then someone came along and called your attention to something that wasn't working. And suddenly you had to focus on something else. This practice is called noticing the gap. And it's one of the tools that I use that helps me get through. You can use this to interrupt the pattern of doing what feels easy and comfortable. The more we focus on what's going on around us, the less attention we have for our thoughts, feelings, and problems. If you find that your mind is totally fixated on negative self-talk, then you know it's time to take a break from your bad habits and clear your mind with positive thinking. If a specific bad habit is keeping you from achieving your goals, then it's time to eliminate that bad habit and replace it with a healthier one or more productive routine. Take responsibility about your problem. Sometimes our plans fail and that's okay. This is a part of life. Successful people get back on their feet and try again. Look for the lessons in each mistake or perceived failure. Be careful not to blame another person because this makes you feel less in control of the situation and less powerful. Learn to cope with a disappointment. Sometimes our plans fail and that is okay. Successful people get back on their feet and try again. If you have experienced a failure, reflecting on the experience is important in order to learn what went wrong, what not to do next time, and how to use the experience as fuel for success. This is the steps that I use to solve my problems when they come up. I hope these points help you work through tough times when they pop up for you in your life and your business. If you're looking to make a change in your life and you're looking for more time freedom in your life, I have a report I would like to share with you that can help you to navigate through that. I will place the link to this report in the comment or description section of this video. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.